biohacking is a real buzzword at the moment, but what does it really mean? Because I think there's this connotation that it's this preserve of the Silicon Valley super wealthy, but actually biohacking really just means to understand and to hack your own biology, to get the most out of our bodies, to help us function and lead happy, healthy lives. What can biohacking entail? What are the different things you can look at? One is understanding. So knowledge of our own bodies and what's happening with our own bodies can help us to get the most out of them. For example, you could look at various types of testing, blood testing at home, for example, nowadays with some of the companies that use finger prick testing is really accessible. And of course, you can always do this through private medical practitioners as well and have their input and guidance. But really understanding your baseline whether you need to supplement any micronutrients specifically to you. And I do always recommend supplementation under the guidance of an expert because actually it can be really bespoke. DNA testing, there are so many different types of DNA testing available nowadays that can tell us so much about our hormones, our health, the things we might be more inclined to develop with time and with age. Continuous blood glucose monitoring. So you may have seen people walking around with a little white thing on the back of their arms. And these are tiny little devices which are very easy to insert and actually are keeping an eye all the time on your blood glucose levels. So it lets you learn how your body responds to various foods, which will be different than my body responds to various foods. And I think that can be a really useful exercise, even if you don't do it forever. Do it for a short period of time so you start to understand yourself better. Biohacks don't have to be expensive. Good quality supplements can cost a bit of an investment budget, but a lot of what can be deemed as biohacking is stuff that you can do for free. Sleeping is a huge one. Preserving at least seven hours of sleep a night, that's when your body restores and recovers itself. Focusing on a nutrition program that's right for you and you can explore things like fasting and fasting can take many different shapes or forms. It can be that you fast for a 12 or an 18 hour window within a single day and that's been shown to really help mental clarity for example and can also help with weight management as we age. But when we get into more advanced forms of fasting and four day fasting that can be when we can actually do something about a process called autophagy in the body. So autophagy is where your body can clears out cells that have gone to sleep or are no longer working as optimally as they should. And to achieve that, it's a longer term fast, although there are supplements that can help with that process as well. Exercise, boosting our microcirculation, getting out into nature and walking, even things like forest bathing, which have become hugely popular in Japan, can really help you to modify your stress levels and therefore optimize your biology. The key thing with biohacking is it's not faddy and it shouldn't be faddy. When you read things about people doing really crazy out there things like having transfusions of young people's blood into their system, these things are not evidence-based. There is no reason to think that that is going to be a positive. So focus on the simple things like I've just mentioned. Focus on getting your lifestyle right. Focus on understanding yourself. And if you want to look into other things, then look at intravenous nutrition. Look into hyperbaric oxygen, for example. And there are things that really can work, take things a step further. If this content has been useful for you, please give it a thumbs up or send me a little message below and please do subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.